Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about salaries in the major leagues and what you get paid when you get called up from the minor leagues to the major leagues. And then what happens if you get sent back down, okay? So this happened to me a couple times. I'm going to go over it. I just started a new series on YouTube, uh, Road to the Show on MLB The Show 19. And I've gotten this question. I've, gone, I've been going through the comments, and I've gotten this question like 50 times in the last couple of days. And so I want to take some time and give you my experience with it and exactly what happens. It can be confusing. There's a lot of numbers involved. And some of the stuff has changed since when I played, but I looked up some of the numbers. And so uh, we're going to cover all of that, okay? So let's, let's get in the time machine and go back to 2008 when I made my Major League debut, okay? First, I was in AAA. When I, right before I got called up, I was in AAA. And I was making a whopping $2,300 a month. Now, the first thing you have to keep in mind is that you only get paid during the season. A lot of people get this confused, okay? You only get paid during the season. And the minor league season is five months long. You don't get paid in spring training. You don't get paid in the playoffs. You only get paid for April, May, June, July, and August, okay? That's the minor league season. So I was making right around like 11000 a little over $11,000 a year. And that's before taxes, and they take taxes out, okay? So please keep that in mind. And I was in AAA, the highest minor league level you can be in before you go to the major leagues, okay? So I was making a sweet $2,300 a month before taxes for the five months that I played. And in 2008, I was in Tacoma, Washington. I got called into the manager's office to say, congratulations, you're going to the big leagues. And, uh, and so I jumped on a, a plane. I grabbed all my stuff, packed in my suitcase, jumped on a plane, and went to uh, L.A. Flew into Dodger Stadium. And uh, played against the Dodgers. Now I'm in the big league. So what happens to my salary, okay? Well, in 2008, the mi the minimum salary at the major league level was, I think it was right around 400000 okay? And so uh, what happens is when you get called up, there's a hundred, right now there's 187 days in a major league season, okay? So remember, you're only getting paid during the season, but the major league season is one extra month. You play in September also, okay? So there's 187 days. That's what, the, that's what they're considered in the major leagues, okay? And so if you get called up and you play for one day, then you would get one 187th of that full salary. Everyone got that? Everyone understand? So it just depends. You get prorated. It just depends how many days you're up there. Now, you still get a check every, you know, you get two checks a month, just like pretty much everybody does. Um, so it just depends on how many days you're there. So when I first got called up, I played for a month. I got called up for the last month of the season, okay? And so I made 30, I think it was like, I was probably up for like 30 or 31 days or something like that. And so it came out for me to be right around sixty to $65,000 is what I got paid for that month, which came out to just about $2,000 a day, okay? Now, it is a crazy feeling when this happens because I went from making right around $2,000 a month in the minor leagues to making $2,000 a day in the major leagues. And I'm getting paid league minimum. Nobody in the league is getting paid less than me, okay? Most of the players in the league are getting paid like millions and millions and millions of dollars. All right, but $400,000 for six months of work, and again, for me, it was one month of work that year. I got $60,000. I I can't really explain what what that feels like or how much that is, um, especially when you get used to getting paid minor league salary. Like my first year in the minor leagues, I made, I think it was $1,100 a month for my first year, and then it slowly goes up from there. So you're used to getting these checks where it's like you see the check and it and there's just, there's nothing there to all of a sudden. Like I remember when I got my first paycheck at the major league level, I was like, what the hell is, what the hell? They moved the decimal point, but like, what happened? It was very, very strange. And like for the first time, and again, I was very lucky. I got paid a lot of money for my, for my signing bonus. And I can only imagine what this must feel like for someone that was not given a signing bonus. Like someone drafting like the 23rd round that makes their major league debut. They must, they might pass out when they see their first paycheck at the major league level. Um, but I went from, you know, usually like eating Chick-fil-A and Panda Express, which I, I still did when I got put in the major leagues because I, I like both of those two places. But, um, you know, like after games, like my wife and I at the time, 
Um, she, when I first got called up, she was my girlfriend at the time. Like we could go, you can go eat anywhere. Like we'd be like, all right, let's go get a steak over at Donovan's, which is right across the street from Petco. And it'd be, the bill would be like $300. And I'd be like, eh, well, I still made $1,700 more than that today. So what's the big deal? Um, it's really crazy. The other thing to keep in mind is that your meal money, meal money, sometimes I say mail money, people think it's M-A-I-L, it's meal money, M-E-A-L, I'm going to try to pronounce that correctly today. You get paid meal money at the major league level too. You get in the minor leagues too, but in the minor leagues when I was playing, you got $20 a day. At the major leagues, you got $100 a day. So what meal money is, is when you go on the road, let's say we're going on a 10-day road trip to uh, Fenway, to Boston, and then we're going to go up to Toronto or something. Um, for those 10 days you're away, you get $100 a day in cash uh, that you can spend on meals, okay? Again, in the minors, it's 20 and the majors, it's 100 It's probably a lot more now. I don't know what it is right now. I'm going to have to try to call somebody and figure that out. So when you get on, like, the, the plane to fly or, you know, if you're, if you're getting on the bus to go up to L.A. or something, they just give you a bunch of cash right before you go. And so you go on a 10-day trip, you get thousand dollars cash which is like crazy to think of like i'm already getting paid two thousand dollars a day what do i need another hundred dollars a day in cash for but that's what they give you at the major league level okay so that's how the money works okay now a couple things when you get called up you have to be on the 40-man roster all right so the 40-man roster is just 40 guys everyone in the big leagues is on the 40-man roster and then there's you know depend there's 20, let's say there's 25 guys in the big league roster, right? There's another 15 guys somewhere, whether they're injured or whether in AAA or maybe AA, usually AAA. They're on the 40-man roster. And those are the guys that can get called up. Okay. So you have to be on the 40-man. Now, once you go on the 40-man, your minor league salary changes. Okay. So let's go back again. I'm making $2,000 a day or excuse me. Yeah. Let's just do that. I'm making $2,000 a day in the major leagues. Season ends. Next season starts. Okay. I go to spring training. I don't hit great. I hit okay. They send me back down to AAA. Now, when I go back down to AAA this time, I don't get paid my normal $2,300 a month like I did a little less than a year ago. Now I get paid 40-man minor league money, which is much different. So the first year you're on the 40-man in the minor leagues, when I was playing, it was around like $45,000 for the year. And then the second year you're on the 40-man, it was like $65,000. Okay, so when you get on the 40 man, your minor league salary drastically changes. Okay, so before the 40 man, you get paid nothing, barely anything. When you get to the 40 man, then you can actually start to make a living. So in 2009, I played that whole year in AAA and I made like 45 ish, I think it was $45,000 so for that year. And again, you get paid only during the season. So those checks are cut, divide that by five, April, May, June, July, and August. All right, that's what I made when I was in the minors in 2009. Okay, now 2010 comes around. Now I'm getting paid in the minor leagues, second man, 40 man. So now I'm getting paid like 60 something thousand dollars. But I got called back up to the major leagues that year, and I was paid the entire season in the major leagues, okay? I got hurt, I got wrist surgery, and I got hand surgery. I didn't play a single game in 2010, this is crazy. I didn't play a single game in 2010, but I got paid major league salary the whole year, okay? So I got paid right around 400,000 again, a little bit bit more than that. Um, But right around there, I got paid that for the six months of the season. So again, I went back to getting paid a little over 2000 a day for every single day. Now, that year, it was it, I wasn't technically called up right at the beginning of the year. I don't know the exact date. I cannot remember. But it was in April, somewhere in April. Okay? So again, 187 days in a big league season. Let's say I was up for, I think I was probably up for like 160 of those days. So you just do the division. I'm not smart enough to figure it out on the fly. Um, but you know, since I was there for most of the year, I got paid like probably three hundred and I don't know eighty thousand, seventy thousand, somewhere right around there. And I also got paid. This is crazy too. I got pay, paid meal money for the whole season. Um, but I was hurt, and like I wasn't even with the big league team when they went away. I stayed in spring training in Peoria, Arizona, to rehab my injury. Yet they paid me meal money because technically I was on the roster. I guess I was on the team. Um, so I used to get like they used to give me. 
you know, when the team went on like a 12 day road trip or something, I'd get money and I'd be like, I'd just be sitting in Arizona. I'd be like, I guess um, here's more money to go buy in and out Burger because in and out was right next to it. This was the worst. My wife, I need to have my wife on here to talk about this because um, I, sh I shouldn't say this actually. I'm going to say it. So she, um, she lived with me that year in Arizona and uh, all we did was, uh, well, I rehabbed all day. She just kind of sat at my apartment and watched like, um, new, what was that, Nick and Jessica uh, Newlyweds? Is that what it was called back in the day? Like she was a big Newlyweds fan. She watched Newlyweds all day long. And then I'd get home and like all we ate was I'd go to In-N-Out Burger um, a lot because it was right next door. There was a Chick-fil-A literally 10 feet away from my apartment. Um, this is bad news. Like there was a lot of bad food around there and I can eat anything and not put on any weight. Um, and she's kind of like that too. Um, but she probably wasn't used to being on my diet and eating in and out every single day. Um, so she, she wasn't very happy about that. And, um, she didn't come back to me again. She said she couldn't, she had to work out more and not just live with me and eat in and out burger. So um, the rest of my career, I lived on my own and then she would just fly out or drive out and see me. Anyways, I digress. Um, so let's get back to the salary stuff. Okay, so now 2010, I play in the major leagues. Um, I don't play in the major leagues. I collect major league money and that's how much I get paid. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is that major league minimum salary has change so i said when i was playing it was four hundred thousand dollars a year right around okay now in 2019 i just wrote this down i think it's five hundred and fifty thousand dollars for minor league minimum salary so i was making two thousand a day in the major leagues these guys now are making around three thousand a day uh minimum okay and so that, that's just even even more bonkers and it's only been about 10 years late not even 10 years later nine years later but um, inflation I guess and all that stuff cost of living goes up so you get paid a lot more money uh, to play uh, let me see what else I jotted down here I think that basically covers everything so the key to keep in mind again is that you're gonna get paid for how many days you spend in the major leagues out of that 187 and when you go back to the minor leagues you're going to go right back to getting paid minor league salary. And again, it's the same thing. It's going to be prorated in the minor leagues, okay? But a lot of people, a lot, I get a lot of questions say like, hey, you spend one day in the major leagues, you get paid the entire league minimum. Like, no, 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 that's not, that's not how it works. They wouldn't call you up for just a day if they were going to have to give you, you know, $500,000 or $550,000 to play one game. That'd be quite a living. <laughs> that, would be, that would be nice. People already say major league players get paid too much. Um, that would be absurd if that happened. But and, and the craziest thing, I'll end it with this, the craziest thing to think about is when you're getting paid that much, like I said, I'm looking at my paychecks, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? I cannot imagine guys that are getting paid $20 million or $30 million a year to play baseball, which I thought that I was stealing. I mean, a lot of people say I was stealing, but I felt like I've got to be stealing right now. Play, I'm playing baseball. Like, I played this game my whole life for zero. Usually I have to pay to play baseball my whole life. Anyone that's played travel ball or anything like that, you usually have to pay to play baseball. I had to go to college, I got a scholarship, I still had to pay a decent amount of money to go play college baseball. In the minor leagues, you still are paying, you get paid nothing. And then all of a sudden you're getting paid all this money. It just felt very, very strange for that to happen. But that's the way it is. So hopefully that covers everything there is to know about um, minor league and major league salary. I'm thinking really quickly if I forgot anything. I guess the only thing that would change is um, after three years of playing for league minimum, so if you're in the major leagues for three years, pretty much three years, um, then you're eligible for arbitration and then you're going to make a lot more money, okay? You make league minimum for those first three years that you're in the major leagues. Um, and then after that, you're going to go, you know, depending on how well you do, you're going to get three years of arbitration where you're going to make a lot more money. And then finally, you become a major league free agent where you can sign for like $20 million a year if you're good enough and if you um, if you deserve that or I guess can convince someone to give it to you. So um, that's how it works. And those guys, when you get sent back down to the minor leagues, when you're making like $42 million a year and some reason you get sent to the minor leagues and you actually go down there, um, you make $42 million a year in the minor leagues, okay? So like when you sign those huge contracts, it's not like you're gonna go from 
you know, I'm not making $42 million a year this year in the majors, and then they send me to the minors, and I'm going down to making 50000 Oh, no, no, no. You keep making, you're, that money's guaranteed. That's what you're making, whether you're playing in the major leagues, whether you're playing in the minor leagues, whether they, uh, you say, you know what, I'm not playing anymore. I'm going to go play in the backyard wiffle ball with my son. You're making $42 million a year, okay? So you don't have to worry about it once you get to that point. Um, this is only for those guys that are making, you know, league minimum, all right? So hopefully that all makes sense. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Go check out my uh, Road to the Show series. Uh, a lot of people seem to be enjoying that. So let me know what you think. Leave the questions in the comment section below, and we'll talk to you later.